Welcome to Tween Twist, presented by Pikes Peak Library District. Today, we are going to be doing a paint pouring project, where you get to turn a blank piece of canvas into a beautiful poured paint design. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is protect your work area or your table. You could put out newspapers or something else to catch the paint. I took a trash bag and I cut it so it would lay flat so I have lots of area to work because you don't want paint to get somewhere. It's not going to come off. Also, I would recommend wearing old clothing or at least rolling your sleeves up on your shirt to make sure that you're not going to get paint anywhere. It may not come out. So the supplies that you need include a blank canvas, different colors of acrylic paint, a stabilizer, we're using Floatrol. You're gonna want some small cups to, for mixing. You could use bathroom paper cups or you could use um, these little plastic cups. You're gonna want something to stir with. You could use a craft stick um, or a plastic spoon. I'm using these little wooden skewers, chopsticks that I have. And you're going to want a place to dry your canvas after you put the paint on it for at least 10 hours. So we're gonna put our canvas to the side so we don't spill paint on it while we get it prepared. So the first thing we're gonna do is add our stabilizer. So we're gonna add it to the three cups and we wanna make sure that they you have about an equal amount of stabilizer in each cup. So just pour some in each cup. Then we're gonna mix our paint colors into the stabilizer. So you wanna have about the same amount of paint as you have stabilizer. So as you can see, I have a little bit of stabilizer in there. I'm going to pour about the same amount of paint. And then I'm going to stir it. So as you can see, the white starts to stir in. Stir it, stir it, stir it. nice pouring consistency. So the paint by itself is kind of gloppy and doesn't pour so well. Now, I don't have enough chopsticks for all three of my colors, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe off this paint with a paper towel. And then move on to the next color. We're now ready to use our canvas. If you have plastic over your canvas, make sure to remove that before doing your project. Now there's three different techniques you can do. You can do what's called a direct pour, where you take the paint and you just pour it in blobs all over the canvas, wherever you want it to go. And then you take it up, you take the canvas and you tilt it. You can do what's called a puddle pour, where you take, say you want black to be on the bottom, you pour a puddle in the middle, and then you pour some blue on top of the black puddle, and then some purple on top of that puddle. You have this big puddle of paint, and then you tilt it around. Or you can do what's called a dirty pour, which is what we're going to do, where you put all the paint into the cups, and then you dump it onto your canvas. So I'm going to start with my purple cup, because the color that you want on top is going to be the bottom color. Because when you invert it or turn it over, it will then be on top. So I want purple and then blue and then black. So I'm going to pour the blue on top of my purple. And then I'm gonna take my black. With my blue. So now I have three layers of paint in here. 
with the purples kind of escaping out the side. And then I'm going to dump it directly onto my canvas. So it might be helpful to get a plastic cup to elevate your canvas. It might also be helpful to get a box that you can line with a trash bag to catch any excess paint because we're going to let any excess paint go off the sides of the canvas. So we're going to take our prepared cup of paint, we're going to put our canvas on top of it, and then we're going to flip it, put our canvas on top of our cup so it's elevated, and then we're going to pick up the paint. See all those cool colors. And then we're going to watch and let any excess go over the sides. So you can tip it around to kind of change some of the design. Letting the excess go over the sides of your canvas. And all the way down. See, this is why it's good to have. Keep tipping it to have that plastic down. Now, if you want to leave some white on your canvas, you certainly can. I think I'm going to leave mine like this. So as you can see, I added a little bit extra blue paint afterwards. I just dribbled it on there because I lost most of it, except in this side here. And I um, still have the black. I decided I wanted to leave this white. We'll see if the paint keeps expanding though as it dries. You're going to want to leave it for at least 10 hours, if not longer in order for all that paint to dry. You don't want to touch it, you want to make sure it dries. So this is where it might be good to have left it in that box so you can put it up somewhere or if you have it on a table, just make sure that it's somewhere where no one's gonna to touch it. And when it's dry, you'll have your masterpiece. Thank you for joining us for Tween Twist. I sure had fun making my paint pouring project. I hope you had fun making yours. If you'd like to share your cool project with us, have an adult post a photo to Facebook and tag us at PPLD Kids or at PPLD Teens. Have a great day!